Sagittarius. Sagittarius, welcome. We're going to do a general read for you. Um, I think I should almost be on time for you guys, uh, but I was traveling, and it's been a bit of a uh, weird time to actually do that for me. Uh, and, um, we had a lot of car trouble and whatnot. But that said, nothing bad happened, which I am grateful for. We were able to get back without too many worries. So we have closure. And closure around a love. This doesn't seem like it was a very long love. We have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. There could be a new start for some of you around this, but you've really thought about what is going on with this particular individual. Maybe this was something that may be coming forward to bring things new again, or just to clear up things so that you can move on. We see the Eight of Wands bringing messages in around this. Now, the desire, however, is strength and transformation. You're hoping that this situation has changed to some degree. Maybe you've been holding back uh, a lot. Almost like no communication between the two of you, but this is hopeful that it does come through. We can see that with the Page of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Death card, and the Five of Wands, the Death card being your energy, in this desire of strength and transformation, it takes strength to change. It's not an easy thing to do. Uh, Page of Pentacles, there is a major learning that's going on. That learning is, lear is causing things to change. So maybe for some of you, you're looking at different videos and listening to different podcasts and whatnot about relationships and how they are affected. This does create, however, for you some internal struggle, but at the same time, there is learning there with the Five of Wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sometimes it hurts. Sometimes it stings a little. Um, sometimes it's hard to face the truth. We can see that dreams shows up in your outcome. And these dreams feel like you're not sure which way to go with them. They can be making you a little crazy with the Eight of Wands here, or Eight of Swords here. We have the King of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and Five of Swords. It just like, it seems like you're holding back in some way. It's that sort of wait and see approach as to how this is actually going to play out. The Wounded Warrior, the Nine of Wands, and the Five of Swords, somebody trying to win at all costs. <clears throat> something can be coming back for you. So as we look over to the judgment card here, this can be that something's coming back. There is somebody that's really in their ego, uh, somebody that's very controlling, somebody else that is very um, cold and detached from this Ten of Cups this love. However, what you may not see is that with the magician here, somebody is trying to manifest. Somebody's trying to manifest happiness. Happiness for the long haul, despite pain and suffering that has been held due to a uh, love situation. Somebody's decided that this is no longer for them because there was no reciprocal behavior. So understandably, we can see why that you would be looking for this transformation and change that what you dreamed of may no longer serve you. We can see with the travel card that whatever happened, whatever that went on, you're moving on from it. And it's not there's still a lot of unanswered questions that I get. There's still clarity that you want. But overall, it's just being able to move on and find a new peace for yourself. 
Sagittarius, that's what I have for you today. Best of luck this week. Feel free to give this a thumbs up or thumbs down, and we'll see you next time. Stay safe.